Wimmera Football Time here on the Flow Friday Sports Show. And joining me on the line from the Wimmera Mallee Sport is the great country journalist that is Chris Greats. Greatsy, great to be back with you. How are you? Yeah, it's great to be back as well. Uh, things are going good, thanks. And things were certainly going well for the Southern Mallee Thunder last weekend, Chris. It was a good result for the Thunder. Um, Coleman Shack kicked uh, four goals and Kieran Del Hunter kicked three for them and for Stahl, Cody Driscoll kicked two. So, yeah, no, nah, it was a good win by the Thunder and even if Ararat did win, I think the Thunder would have had a much superior percentage anyway on the top of the ladder. We know that for Dimbula, there'll be a broom going through the place next year. Do you think that's taken off some of the pressure and we might now see them uh, at least playing some better football in these last couple of games? because um, not the worst outing for them. They were relatively competitive against the Horsham Saints, who you know, are no world beaters themselves. But uh, Dimbula at least look like they're uh, going to finish the season off with uh, you know slightly more respectable displays. Yeah, that's an interesting one. They knew about Jack Lance uh, a few weeks ago, so they've had nothing to lose since then and they haven't been in the games. But as we know... The Saints have been riddled with injuries all year. Uh, I believe that the only way they were in the game for that margin was because of the injuries the Saints had. They had two key backmen down. Um, but Dimbula, credit to them. They fought and fought hard, but they actually led at three-quarter time. And, yeah, they fought hard all game. And then it was just that last quarter where the Saints ended up getting on top. And Mitch Martin kicked three goals for the Saints, continuing his form. And, yeah, for Dimbula, yeah, that. Credit to them for showing the fight for, yeah, three quarters at least. Absolutely. Horsham Demons had it pretty easy against Warwick Eagles. 95-point win for them. And uh, the Eagles will just be looking forward to a reset next season. Yeah, that's right. Well, that was the Eagles' last game. Cause they've got the bye this week. So their season is done and dusted. They would have been disappointed to end it on that note. They only kicked five goals in the match and they were never really in the match. They were probably in the match for the first 10 minutes and then Horsham, as all good finals teams do, just controlled the play and um, once they got through the um, defensive pressure that the Eagles were putting down back, they just found their groove, found their run and just kick goals and put it on the scoreboard and Jordan Modden, their full forward, kicked seven goals and Ryan Kemp uh, kicked another six so Kemp's had a good season, his tally's now 43 for the year and for the Eagles, Ryan McKenzie can he did well for them, he's their leading goal kicker, he kicked another three goals so he's had a good season for them so yeah, the Eagles will now look forward to next year and build on what they've achieved this year. Coming out of last weekend, it was Minute Matal with the bye. So let's take a look at the ladder with 15 games having been played now going into the last round of the minor round. Southern Mallee Thunder top, Arad second, Stall third, Horsham Demons fourth, Nil fifth, Minute Matal sixth, Horsham Saints seventh, Dimbola eighth and Warwick Eagles in ninth position. So it's going to come down to the tussle between the top two, Southern Mallee Thunder and Ararat. And Chris, I'm not exactly sure how likely it is that this uh, upset can happen for Ararat to become minor premiers. But as you say, uh, they'll have to win well themselves and hope that the Southern Mallee Thunder do not win against the Horsham Demons. How likely is it, firstly, that Ararat will take care of matters themselves? Yeah, I think Ararat will. Um, both teams are near full strength, but I think Ararat's a better team. Yeah, they lost to Stall earlier in the season on Good Friday, but you really can't count uh, that first game of the season if anything happens, especially that earlier in the season. So I think Ararat will get over the line here and they just need to focus on just winning and then hope the Thunder lose. So I think Ararat will be winning this game. I think they'll win a tight game by four goals. Well, that already doesn't sound like it'll be enough. Uh, Horsham Demons, they'll have to beat the Southern Mallee Thunder by a considerable margin for it to happen. So this is going to be quite a accomplishment for the Thunder, you would think. We are forecasting that they're going to finish minor premiers, and to do it in their inaugural season is pretty impressive. Yes, it is. Um, so last time the Demons played the Thunder, the Demons were in the lead in the... 16-minute mark of the last quarter and then the Thunder put through three late goals to 
steal away the match. So I expect another close game. The Demons would have learnt from the last time they played. And with only two points separating the Thunder and Ararat, if the Demons do upset the Thunder and Ararat win, Ararat gets the top spot. So the Thunder will be going out making sure that they get the top spot because they don't have Brad Lowe and Rupert Sankster this week. They're giving them another week's rest. So if they do win, they get top spot and they get another two and they get another week to rest because they won't be playing next weekend. So they'll be going all out to win and it'll be yeah, great achievement in their yeah, in their first season as a new amalgamated club. It's gonna be yeah, if they finish on top, it's just a great story. All right, now Neil, they have uh, secured their finals berth, as you mentioned before. Horsham Saints, they're out of the picture. So, Neil, going into this game, is it wise for them to give some of the bigger guns a rest or not? No, you want to. Neil want to go into the uh, finals um, on the back of a strong win. You don't want to rest a few players and um, go into the final next week um, because if you lose momentum, um, it's going to be very, very hard to get that back and considering that they'll be playing the uh, Horsham Demons. Um, yeah, they need to just play their full side and run out and have a good win and bring that momentum into that first week of finals. All right, Mini Matoa in the final game, host Dimbula. Um, we've spoken about Dimbula improving. Do you think they'll improve enough to get a win in their final game? No, nah, at home, Mini Matoa. Um, they'll they'll come out they'll come out hard and they'll win this game by about seven eight goals I think Imbula will battle hard they've got nothing to lose neither does Minute Matoa but Minute Matoa are the classier team and I just don't see this game being close um, though they yeah I see Minute Matoa winning by about eight goals as I said and yeah. What I forgot to mention before is the goal kick-in that uh, we need to look at because Tom Williamson leads play with 53 goals and Cody Driscoll is on 51. So one of these two are going to lead the goal kick-in at the end of the season. And as they're playing each other, it's going to be an intriguing battle. Two goals separates them. So, yeah, that's a, that's going to be another battle to watch on the weekend to see who comes out on top there. Exciting shootout in store. Which grounds will you be at, Chris? Are you roving around tomorrow at all? I'll be at Matawa early on, and then I'll head back into the office in the afternoon, so I won't be roving around uh, the grounds in the uh, afternoon. There we have it. Too much uh, reporting that you're tasked with, but uh, it is very good reporting, and you can digest all of it in the Wimmer Mallee Sport. Where can people go to buy that? Yeah, so Wimmer Mallee Sport is our Tuesday release sport paper. Uh, we had 24 pages of sport content this week. Uh, next week, it should be another 24-page paper. And, yeah, you get a lot of different sports and you get it from your local news agencies or where you get your papers uh, in the Wimmera. And if you can't get a paper in the Wimmera, just go to WM sports.com.au, sign up for an online subscription, and you can get the digital copies of all our papers, so the Wimmera Mallee Sport, Horsham Times, Warwick Herald, Dimbula Banner, and Rainbow Argus, so it's a good value for money, so sign up, have a read of the papers digitally, and you won't be disappointed. The great country journalist Chris Greats joining us on the Flow Friday Sports Show. Chris, enjoy your weekend. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Ellis. You too. Have a great weekend.